Hi! Deliverability is always a hot topic. Uh, that's why today I have invited Anne from our technical assurance team. And the team actually uh, deals a lot with technical issues, deliverability issues. And uh, you actually support our support team when it comes to some technical sides of uh, sending emails and so on. Um, I actually have a really important question because we, when we talk about uh, deliverability, uh, we talk about setting up SPF and the KM records, uh, warming up domain and email addresses before starting an email outreach and some, some, some other things people should, uh, should do before starting an email outreach. Uh, but other and extra steps we can take towards great deliverability. Yes, there are some steps you can take. If you really care about your deliverability, you should consider setting your own tracking domain. In Woodpecker, we use three types of tracking. You can count how many people open your email, mm -hmm. how many of them click on the link placed in your campaign, and how many of them wish to opt out and click on your unsubscribe link. Mm -hmm. Regarding open tracking, there is a special pixel hidden in the email, which is invisible and behaves like a normal image. Regarding tracking clicks, there are appropriate URL addresses involved in the process. Okay, and how does it work? Regarding open tracking, the pixel is loaded after opening the email and displayed just like uh, some pictures you can see. In okay, the... and that's the moment when we can track the open. Yeah. Yeah. So when the when the pixel is opened on uh, receiver's side, yeah, we, we capture that. Yes, we know when it is uh, downloaded, uh, and that's the way we can count it. Okay. And, and Woodpecker used by default which uh, own domains to track it? Yes, we use our own domains, uh, and after setting custom tracking, you use your own domain to do that. Uh, okay. Um, I think import, important question will be, why should we set up custom tracking domains? Why not to use uh, the default domains that we have in Woodpecker? Because it allows you to get rid of uh, some different domains other than yours. Mm, and it makes you more trustworthy because spam filters considered using redirection to other domains as suspicious. Mm -hmm. And that's the most important reason, not to be, not to look suspicious for the spam filters, but I think also for receivers, but because as far as I know, when you uh, receive an email with a, with a link, you can, you can just like click on it, you, you can see the, the source, you can see uh, where it leads you, and also they can, based on that, they can decide not to click on that link, right? Because they see a completely different uh, URL and it looks suspicious. Yes, you're right. Um, from your experience, you may know that uh, when you see some strange domain, uh, you yeah. don't want to click on it. For sure. Mm, and for your receivers, it's also a bad uh, sign when you, when they see some strange uh, URL address. Mm, and I'm sure that setting custom tracking and the moment when they see your domain, uh, encourage them to click. Yeah, for sure. So now we know that setting up a custom tracking uh, domains is really important. Uh, and now let's maybe get into practice. Could you show us how to do it? Of course I can. This is the Woodpecker setting panel. And here is the place when you can set your custom tracking domain. In those three fields, you can apply your subdomain, which we create in DNS panel. And now I'm going to my DNS panel. In my case is name.com. And we need to add one record. Its type is CNAME. Now we can create subdomain. You can type here whenever you want. And in the answer field, you need to go to our help page and copy this domain. It's always available for you. And just paste it here. Now you can add your record. And go back to the setting panel. 
to apply it here. And we can see that everything went, everything went well. We can see here green check. And if you see here a red cross, it might mean that you have to wait a couple of hours because sometimes DNS record needs some time to propagate. And now you have to save changes. And that's all. And thank you so much for the guide to custom tracking domains. Now we know how to set it up, why it's important, where to set it up and so on. Uh, guys, of course, if you have any questions, feel free to drop us uh, a line in the comments below. Uh, for more details, contact hello at woodpecker.co. And of course, yeah, that's basically all. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.